Peter, what are you up to for Valentine's Day? Um, nothing. I'm single. Like most girls my age, I'm somewhat dedicated to romantic stories and movies, especially during the winter. There is always an episode in which the main actors will have to celebrate Valentine's Day, and every time I'm excited to know how they will celebrate it. By the way, I have never celebrated in my whole life, and I don't plan to do it, but I am aware that it is a day of celebration all around the world. Gifts, red hearts, huge teddy bears, chocolates, and notes all over the place about confessing love. Be mine, love you, from your valentine, and blah blah blah. All of this is happening while I'm putting on my pajamas, grabbing my hot chocolate mug, and watching for the 37th or maybe the 100th time another episode of Friends. Valentine's Day is not a big deal anyway, at least not for me. It is none of my business. It wasn't important at all. I didn't even know why I was writing this topic. Until I thought, what if I was one of the celebrants? What if I was living in a country where everyone celebrates Valentine's Day? You know, the feeling that the celebration does not stem from love, but from compulsion. You must celebrate, you must buy an expensive gift, and you must bake something. Even if you don't like the red color or it just seemed disgusting to you, you should wear it. Written to be happy and upload a picture on Instagram to prove that you are one of the surviving couples this Valentine. What an ideal partner you are as you celebrate Valentine's Day with your wife or lover. What gift did you buy? Which restaurant did you visit? And how did you celebrate Valentine? Questions that others would and will ask. I don't know how people around the world celebrate Valentine, or at least how they really feel inside during Valentine. But for me, I think it's a heavy feeling. It is almost like becoming an adult and starting giving Eid gifts to children on Eid al-Fitr. But that's a topic for another episode. I don't claim to have done extensive research on this topic. But in almost every list of most hated holidays, I have often found Valentine's Day on the list or even at the top of the list. It is weird why would people hate Valentine's Day, isn't it? It is a day to laugh even more. Well, the word hate may seem like an exaggerated word. So, let's say the least favorite, the heavy burden, the nightmare. Do these seem like kinder words? No? So let's stick to the word hate. You may think that single people, and separated couples, and religious people are the only one who tend to hate Valentine, but this is not the case. First of all, what is Valentine's Day about? In my humble definition, as a child who grew up watching episodes of series in which people celebrate Valentine's Day, I think my definition of it is when lovers and married couples go on a romantic date. A date in a luxurious restaurant with candles, gifts, and greeting cards where they can be together without children, obligations, or a heavy friend. That word always came to my mind when thinking of Valentine. But now that I bought myself in the middle of Paris, Verona, or even America as a person preparing to celebrate this holiday, I can feel that it has another name other than Valentine's Day which is the holiday of competition. How many chocolates did you get on Valentine's Day? How many love letters are stuffed in your closet? And worse, what did you get for your partner? What are you up to on Valentine's Day? The older you get, the more the Valentine's Day tradition of exchanging sweet words and chocolate seems like an indicator of your status. Even if you are an ordinary person who lives a normal, balanced life with your life partner, you find yourself going with the flow and entering into this competition, and this day becomes a burden for both of you. This day will somehow determine your future relationship. He may not love you enough, so he didn't invite you to dinner at a fancy restaurant, and he may not love you enough, so he didn't buy you an expensive gift. You are somehow forced to over love or even fake it 
regardless of your true feelings about it. Of course, I will not talk about being single and all these feelings that you feel, not because you have no one to celebrate it with, no, but because of all those who will mock that it is another Valentine and you are still single. Wow, I think Valentine's Day seems like a period of extremely stressful emotional testing. It seemed clear that the majority of celebrants would hate Valentine's Day much more than I would who only imagined myself on it. If you are interested to know who the partner I imagined with me, it is Jungkook. But again, it wasn't that great. I mean, what could I get for Jungkook? Apparently, on Valentine's Day he would give me a song and maybe kiss me under the fireworks and then I would be surprised that he bought me a house by a beautiful lake. Maybe I'm overly imaginative, but this is exactly the point. What could I get for Jungkook? What could compete with all of this? What would seem better than what any other girl would have given him? Yes, even partners for whom the holiday is primarily intended. If you dig a little deeper, it seems that most of them have legitimate reasons to hate this holiday or even feel burdened by it to the point that they may not enjoy it. Valentine's Day has become a duty, not of an occasion. If you are partnered, it is automatically assumed that you should participate in the Valentine's Day celebrations. You are expected to exchange gifts, go on dates, and spend time with your partner. It doesn't matter how you feel about the whole thing. Even if you are exhausted, I mean, who's that idiot who gets sick on Valentine's Day? Even if you and your partner are having relationship problems, neither of you probably wants to go out or give the other one a gift. You just can't say it out loud. You don't want people to assume something is wrong with you, even if the only thing you want to do is crawl into bed and never come out. You are bound to put on a happy face and pretend like you are having fun. While for those who would rather be in a relationship, it is just another somewhat depressing reminder that they are lonely. If those in relationships hate Valentine's Day because it has turned into a commitment that they must participate in, then what about single people who hate the idea of any occasion because it is full of questions that question their choices in life and compare them with those who are in their age and in relationships? And celebrating happily on social media. It is exhausting as a single person because you can suddenly feel the need to defend your life and your choices and reassure them that you are fine, you eat well, you can afford chocolate and teddy bears yourself, and mother's kisses are still the best. Whatever you do today and whatever your choice is, to celebrate or not, to love or not, to get married or not, you will be mistaken. You will be ridiculed, you will be compared, and you will undoubtedly lose. But Valentine's Day take it to another level. If you refuse to participate, you don't love your partner. And if you participate, you are a fool who has fallen into the trap of company's greed. There are people like me who will make videos about you to talk about your true feelings, that you don't really like all of this, and that you are forced because that's just what everyone does. You must do too much or you will simply not do enough. Can we look at Valentine's Day anymore as something that comes from within us and not as an obligation? If yes, why didn't you celebrate it last month but on February 14th, you liar? I'm not here to judge you, not really.